Okay, so what's up my YT homies? I uh, really kind of don't know where or how to start this video. First of all, don't pay any attention to the jump behind me. I probably just brought your attention to it. Um, I just got so much to do. But this is kind of a personal vlog. Well, I guess a vlog. Um, all of it's vlog, video, video logging, I guess, whether you um, doing a makeup tutorial or whether you're going out with family or something like that. Anyway. Okay, I don't really know where to begin. I was not planning to make a video of this caliber. I had thought about it at one point, but then I was like, no, I'm, um, I'm not going to make a video like this. I'll just do what I do and go on. But I've had a coworker that does watch my channel and he says to me um the other day he said i gotta catch up on your videos i haven't watched them in a while which i'm grateful that he does because i don't think i have guys that really watch my channel but he was like when i come to your channel i better see something about your weight loss and i was like no um i'm not gonna do that i said i thought about it but i'm not and he was like why not you know he was like you're um an inspiration to so many because so many people at work have has have noticed my weight loss now let me go back to why I didn't want to come on and share it in 2010 in November I started my um, channel and somewhere in 2011 I started um, working out and making videos about weight and I joined some communities on YouTube with some people you know and losing weight and I, I lost a few pounds and stuff um, and I, I even put up videos where I exercised I even did this challenge one time that was where you did squats and heels and I used to put those up but then I turned around I failed I failed I failed myself I feel like I failed the YouTube community. I feel like I failed my daughter. I just felt like I was a big failure. So I um, took those videos down. Well, I came again in um, 2012 and I made a video and I said, I'm tired. I was like, my knees were causing me problems. Um, I was just going to do something about the weight. I was going to do something about it. Yeah, my, it's kind of warm here. That's why I put my hair back. But I was going to do something about it. I was not going to going to live like that anymore. And I had gotten some herbal pills. I think if I'm not mistaken, I think I told you all about the herbal pills. And I had said that I was going to, I don't like my hair like this. Anyway, I had said that I was going to, I was going to take those pills and I was going to work out and I was going to lose weight. And I took those pills for a couple of months and I did really work out and I once again once again I failed again so I had failed myself once again I had failed I guess you could say YouTube because I brought it to YouTube I had failed my daughter once again um, even though my daughter has you know, never even looked at me cross-eyed about my me being um, heavy. As a matter of fact, sometimes when I would call myself fat, she would say, you're not fat. And I'm like, thank you, baby. But yes, your mommy's fat. So anyway, fast forward some. Last year, I went on a couple of diets. I, um tried to lose weight. I lost a few pounds, but I quickly gained them back because I wasn't working out or doing anything to help myself, so to speak. And then this year, I did a couple of things at the earlier part of the year. Um, 
I even contemplated gastric bypass, but I don't know. Um, I, and, and you know, you have to go through so much with getting that. And I asked my primary physician, and she was like, she was not going to sign off on it. I didn't need to do that. You know, she felt that I could lose the weight on my own with a little bit of help. Um, she sent me to a nutritionist. I worked with a nutritionist for about two months, and that was it. And I don't even, I don't even think I lost maybe five pounds, if five pounds, during that time. I'm sorry. This is just an emotional thing for me. That's one reason why I didn't want to, I was so hesitant about coming on talking about it. So anyway, September, um, a couple of months ago in September. No, <clears throat> let's go back. August. I think it was July when she announced, when she said it, um, because we started in August. Um, Brandy1525, right here on the YouTube. We're friends on Facebook, along with some other ladies. Um, but Brandy started a Facebook group, <clears throat> and I joined it, and we were all going to lose weight. And it started from, it was to go from August the 1st to November. Yeah, it was a 90-day challenge. August, the month of August went by, and, and mind you, I had joined the Y back in May, and um, I have a family membership, well, had a family membership, I canceled it, well, it ends on November 30th, and then I'm going to go to Planet Fitness, save a little bit of money, because we, we, we can't use the Y as a family right now, because of our schedules and stuff, but anyway, and so I would go work out, but my workouts were like crappy as heck. Anyway, me and my best friend, we went on a trip at the beginning of September. And while we were gone, and we talked about my weight, it came up. I mean, it's it's like the elephant in the room sometimes. When I met her, I was heavy. Um, during the time where, I, throughout our friendship, I lost some weight. We've been friends for, I think, 16 years. Um, throughout the time, I lost some weight, and then I gained all the weight back after I had surgery on my foot. Anyway, so... while we were on our trip on our trip we were talking about the weight and I was just coming up with excuses as to what's going on why I had not been successful at getting the weight off this time and she said to me because I brought I think I brought the gastric bypass again and she but she said to me she said shake and that's my nickname y'all heard me say it before and she said shake she said you did it before you could do it again I, you know and, and it was like you're absolutely right you're absolutely right and so um i got back home september 14th and september 15th was when i decided to change my life Really, September 14th was when I decided to change my life. September 15th was the day I started. I, uh... Today is November the 21st. And I have officially lost 34 pounds since September the 15th. I know that's a big loss for two months of time and I get people asking me what am I doing what am I doing what am I doing and I try to tell them my most important the most important thing that I'm doing is working out I work out five six days a week I think I had one week where I worked out four days Some days, some, sometimes I work out twice. Lately, I haven't been working out twice because I go to bed so late sometimes. And getting up to work out, I have to get up at 4 o'clock and then try to go back to bed late. But if I don't work out, I can get up at 5. And I really could probably get up about 
5 30 and be okay but i just i take my time in the morning so anyway i don't eat past a certain time um i have my if i want a snack i have a snack i don't have cheat days i don't set out days to just cheat to just eat and gorge on whatever um i cut back on starch i watch my carbohydrates i can't do a low carb diet because of the fact that um i have ibs and low carbs i can't do for the rest of my life i do smoothies i eat a lot of veggies carrots and stuff like that when i'm, I'm when i get hungry i actually uh, have been drinking like maybe two cups of coffee because sometimes if i uh, get hungry i drink a little coffee because that kind of helps to curb my appetite which i'm getting ready to go on a 10 day green smoothie cleanse and a friend of mine says you know it's a waste of time but i want to kind of give it a shot and just see how would it do there are so many things and so you know so many other things going on and I, like i said I, if you all would like to keep up with me and my journey I'm sorry it's so hard I guess I'm so emotional because I feel like I have been such a failure I've been such a failure so many times and and here I am I am now and it's only 34 pounds but looking back at pictures and stuff it's a big change 34 pounds makes a big difference I am not ready to share my weight I will share my weight eventually um, that's if I continue to vlog about it because I, I don't want to come on here and share my personal journey and get 20 or 30 views um it is what it is you know some of the other videos i come on i want i mean of course i want more views but those videos are just like fun type of stuff but if i'm gonna come here and pour my heart out and tell what's going on and stuff like that i i just i'm i don't want to do it for 20 or 30 views but i guess um just let me know if you would like for me to continue coming in sharing my journey and what i'm doing and what I'm doing with this lifestyle change because that's what it is. It's a lifestyle change and I had to make it. I had to figure out in my head. It's like Ty Crable said in her vlog. I'm one of those people that I have to work out. I can't. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. That's why I don't talk myself out of working out. That's why I work out no matter what. Um, I work out at home. I work out at the Y. Like I said, the Y is going to be gone and I'll be going to Planet Fitness. But I... It's, it's like... I got to. I have to. Like I said, I don't have those cheat days and stuff. I see where people give themselves cheat days and all that kind of stuff. I don't give myself a cheat day. If I want a, a Sprite, I'll drink a Sprite. If I want an oatmeal pie, a little Debbie oatmeal pie, I'm going to drink, eat a little Debbie oatmeal pie. If I want some chips, I'm going to eat the chips and get it over with. And just get it over with. Just eat it and move on. But if I set aside a day that I can just go through and just eat junk food. That is defeating the purpose of what I have done all week long. And I'm not going to do that. So anyway, I'm going to get out of here because this video is getting getting to be pretty long. But just please let me know if you would all you all would like me to come in and share my journey, share my losses and all that kind of stuff. And it, you know, because eventually, like I said, if if I continue to do this, I will give you all my starting weight. And give you all give you all the weight that I'm at and um, share pictures and all that kind of stuff. Um, yeah, so like I said, just let me know and leave your comments below. Any questions you have, you know, leave them below. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you all so much for watching. Thank you so much for supporting me and my channel. And until the next time, I'll catch you ladies on the flip side. Bye.